So today I'm going to plant some house plants. So before I get planting, I got to make some room under our grow light for them. And see that grow light right there? They have a whole bunch of succulents under them right now. And so I have to move off all these succulents under a different grow light behind me that's on the floor because this one is like, I'm standing on a bench. <laughs> this one's higher. And so they'll root in faster if I put the stuff that I'm gonna plant up here because it's warmer up here instead of on the cement floor. So I gotta clear off this whole top and then that'll make room for me to plant some new stuff, some house plants. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> I forgot I have to get pots. So I'm heading out to the greenhouse. I'll show you. We have a greenhouse in our backyard. <laughs> um, to get, I think I'm gonna do a hundred. I'm gonna plant a hundred cause that's, I think that's all that will fit under our grow light. So I have like 14 different varieties of house plants that I wanna plant. So I was like trying to figure out how to divide it all up. So I think if I do, we have, I wanna do white, black, and gray in a terracotta. So four different kinds of pots and 14 varieties. If my math is correct, I need about 28 pots of all three colors. So I'm going to gather my pots. Oh, I should have brought my wagon. Okay. I'll have to get my wagon. <laughs> okay. So I got my pots. I got terracotta, gray, black, and white. I got a clean them all up when I get them in the house, but I gotta go get a wagon and now transport them all to the basement. <laughs> all right, I got one. I uh, have a feeling the path that my husband uh, shoveled for me to the from the greenhouse to the, oh shoot, I already dropped one to the um, house is not going to be wide enough for the wagon. So I'm not even sure if this is going to work. We shall see. <laughs> All right, so the wagon is not working. I just keep dropping them. So I'm going to maybe try a bucket and carry them. So let's re- we uh, load up. I gotta start. So, get to work. <laughs> I got a few croton done. I'm doing like a couple pots of white, a couple pots of gray, a couple pots of black, and then these cute little terracotta. Oh, they're so cute. So we'll get them all watered in, and then after that, then I'll clean the um, pots off and get them all nice, all that dirt off later. <laughs> I'm gonna do some spider plant nets. 
There's 10 of these. These are pretty big. So, just take it out. Look at all those roots on there. Kind of cool. stretch in your dirt in your new house. Oh yeah, I love these. Check this out. This is a monster. So that's the plant and then it's got like these spiders like coming off of it, growing. Look at that. So I think I'm gonna cut all those off and use them, um, plant them in those little four inch um, terracotta pots. Wow, that's cool. So, got one. Look at all those. <laughs> and then I'll plant, I'll plant that. So those ones that I just cut off that mom spider, I think I'm just gonna try to do this. So see all those roots on there? I think I'm just gonna see if it works. But I'll just fill up like a little pot. And then maybe just stick. I don't know, I feel like I should fill it up a little bit more. Just getting the brown off. All that nice root. Just gonna maybe do three in one. That should work. There, we'll see what happens. <laughs> So I got the croton and the spiders planted. There's all the spiders that we just planted and then I'm setting them up there. I just moved the croton up underneath the grow light. So I gotta fill that whole area. So I did, I have 14 varieties I'm gonna do and I got two done. <laughs> do these in the little terracotta ones because they're kind of cute. <laughs> these are kind of cool. They're prayer plants. They got really cool like uh, vein leaves. They're like pink and they got cool variegation in it. Prayer plant. So I'm going to do those next. cool it's a philodendron it gets really like traily and <clears throat> cascades down it's a really really easy house plant to grow um, it's like lower light too which is kind of nice if you don't have a lot of light 
and then um, if you like trailing too, a lot of people like trailing stuff. But great house plant, easy to care for, philodendron. Here is another variety of um, prayer plant. This was the one that we just planted, like that. And then this is the same plant, it's just a different variety. This is really cool too, it's got like different kinds of textures and stuff in the leaves, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to do that one next. Great house plan. This is one of my favorites, Diffenbachia. It's really cool. I love that like variegation of the greens in there, kind of like a lime. Love this one. Great house plant. We water it like once a week and it can take direct or indirect light. So great one. Another one that I love is a rubber, rubber plant. It's got like really cool variegation in it, like a pink and pinkish purple almost. It's really cool. And it grows like straight up and out. It's really easy to grow too. It's one of my favorites. The leaves are really thick, like kind of like rubber. Great house plant too. So I ran out of dirt and pot, so I had to go get more from the greenhouse. So I got about, so far, I planted about 55 um, bigger, like seven inch style pots. And I think, uh, oh my gosh, it's frozen. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> oh no, it's hard as a rock. <laughs> okay, might not be able to finish my project today. Hmm, might have to let it defrost a little while. <laughs> okay, to be continued. So it's the next day. Um, my dirt was not thawed out so I couldn't do it yesterday so I just checked it this morning I came down here and it's fine it's all defrosted and looks good so I can get at finishing up my planting today so that was a little bit of a setback I wasn't expecting but that's okay that thing, things like that happen no problem I guess <laughs> so right now I'm planting this really cool one I showed you before, that Diffenbachia. So um, I'm planting a few more of those. We put them in a seven inch pot. Um, and the reason why I'm planting all these is because we um, are gonna be going to a craft show in January. Um, so we're planting some stuff up. So we have it ready for our craft show um, in a little while. They'll be all nice and rooted in and filling out the pot and um, then we like hang them in macrames and um, put them in a whole bunch of different little display setups. So. So I usually plant like six at a time and then I move them on the bench when I get like six done. So I just got those six Diffenbachia done. So I'll just go grab them and then put them on the bench um, under the grow light. I'm going to do these parlor palms next. They're really cool. Those are what I'm going to plant next. So I'm gonna grab that tray and bring it over and plant them up into a little bit bigger pot and put them under the light. So here's the parlor palm I'm gonna plant. It's a really cool house plant. It um, can really take the um, shade if needed. It does fine in the sun too, like direct or indirect light. Um, they grow like really tall and upright. So it's kind of nice too if you like a, kind of like a really, higher, taller um, house plant. Uh, we water it like once a week. And 
um, they're just really cool texture. The leaves on it is pretty cool. I love it. I have one upstairs in my office and it's really nice. So that's kind of what it looks like. Really like palm tree-ish looking. some in a four inch too. I think they look kind of cute in a four inch. So I got like three more. So I'll do some in a little terracotta um, four inch pot. They're kind of cute in there. These are really cute like on a windowsill or a table or we hang them in macrame too and they look really cute. These are really cute. They're pilea. They kind of look like little lily pads. It's a great house plant. I was thinking since they're so tiny, I was gonna put them in a four inch, <clears throat> like a little terracotta. So we'll see what it looks like. That's cute. <laughs> so I ended up having a little bit more space on my bench and I have more dirt to use. So I'm gonna, um, do a few more so this is my third day um, on this project so I thought well I think I might do a few more philodendron because um, they're really like trally and um, people really seem to like the trally ones so um, I'm gonna do a few more of the trailing ones up because I have more space and we got extra dirt um, so I'm going to finish that up and fill my space up. <laughs> okay, so I think this is going to be enough. I got quite a bit. The bench space is almost full. So I still do have a little bit more dirt but and a little bit more space. I guess I could run out the greenhouse and get a few more pots. I don't know yet. <laughs> I probably should because then I could do like maybe one more row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. Maybe ten more. Maybe I'll go run and get like ten more pots and fill in this section right here. <laughs> and then we'll be done. <laughs> so I just got done. I filled up my space that we had up top. And we got a good amount now, um, different varieties. So that's what we did the last few days. So we'll just kind of let them all root in and grow a little bit. And then we'll be ready for our craft show in a few weeks that we're gonna go to. Um, and then we'll bring them to the craft show. So that's my top bench that we just all planted um, the last couple days. And then these we brought in from our greenhouse um, this past like summer, spring. So these have been rooted in and growing for quite a while, but the varieties down here are different than the ones up above. So it'll be nice that we'll have more of a variety selection um, for the customers at the craft show coming up now that you know we'll have more variety because I just planted the ones up there. All different from the ones down here. Like these are like different kinds of arrowhead got dirt on it from above <laughs> uh, different kinds of ferns um, you can kind of see all the different ones um, so yeah so and then these are a little different varieties so I think we'll have a good mix hopefully everybody will like it at the craft show thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed watching me plant some house plants and I hope you have a great day all right bye <laughs>